Good job, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? How you guys doing? Bit of a different video. I want to talk about the whole Cristiano Ronaldo situation that's going on as a Man U fan supporter. Also, I want to talk about Champions League draw. First off, man. Cristiano. So, you guys haven't heard, he's, post, he's supposedly on the way to Manchester City. You guys didn't know he did. He used to play for Manchester United after leaving Sporting Lisbon. Played for Menu for, for I think about six, six, seven years. Uh, after you know, he went to Madrid, went crazy, broke, broke the records. Went to Juventus, great in Juventus now apparently. He's supposed to head to Man City. What the fuck? Uh, I've never seen Christian Ronaldo play for Manchester United. I only see the highlights and tapes and all that, but why? Why do you want to go to a rival team? I, I know Carlos Tevez did, but who cares? I don't care about Tevez. You're Cristiano Ronaldo. You're CR7. Cristiano. And supposedly, you supposedly want to go to Man City. From a football point of view, you want to win, I understand. Man City is, is, is going to give you a better chance to win compared to Paul Juventus, compared to Man U. But why? You, why? Why do you want to go to Man City? That's like Messi leaving Barcelona to play for Madrid. That was like Cristiano. That's like Cristiano leaving Real Madrid to play for Barcelona. Ramos playing for Real Madrid to Barcelona. Like Paul Scholes leaving Man United. To play for fucking Man City or Liverpool. Why? You are a legend of this club. And you want to go to Man City? You want to ruin all that? Do you understand the amount of hate and negativity would brought your way from Man United supporters? I can't even look at you the same if you do that. Why? Why do you want to go to Manchester City? I uh, imagine that the biggest person who's probably hurting is Sir Alex, Sir Alex Ferguson, the guy who brought you in to Manchester United. It is going to just, just do him like that. Absolutely do him like that. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. No, it's not official yet, but it's a strong rumor. Strong rumor. I think his agent was in talking to him and all that trying to group personal terms. I can't believe it. So this shit happens. I, I I can't believe it. I just cannot believe it. I just can't believe it. <laughs> why? Just why? Why city? Just why city? <sighs> and the thing is, many Ch Manchester United has had chances to bring back Cristiano, but didn't want to do it. Why? Just Cristiano Ronaldo. If, if you if you told Cristiano we were to bring you back to, to talk to his agent all that he would probably happily happily come back. But no, never even consider bringing back Cristiano. I think I even read they offered him to us in the Glazers. I know I don't even want to speak on the Glazers. You guys know how, how I hate the Glazers. The Glazers, I, I think they own like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here in NFL, and they won Super Bowl being Kansas City. How they brought back Tom Brady and they re-signed every, every starting player from last year that was a free agent and brought him back. That's that's Tom Brady. Probably the greatest, that, he's the greatest quarterback of all time. But where's his same love for Manchester United? This is, we're talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't care that we have Cavani, Martial, Greenwood, Rashford up front, whatever. We're talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. Age, I think what, 36? Still banging in goals. And you're just going to allow him to just go to Manchester City. I, just want to, I, can't, I can't speak for all fans, but from my point of view, I'm absolutely disgusted if this, if this shit happens. I'll be absolutely disgusted if this shit happens. Just why? 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 But it's the Glazers. I mean, the Glazers. But I, if Ollie doesn't want him, I mean, it is what it is. If Ollie doesn't want to bring him back, it is what it is. I just don't understand why. 
so much better. I mean, Cavani's great. Cavani's good. Very good. But what, what, we're talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't care if it's for a year, year and a half. If you have a chance to bring him back, you bring him back. But do not let him go to Manchester City. I think I also read a statement he said something about he can't play for Manchester City because you know, of his love for Manchester United. Really? I, I, I just can't believe it. I just cannot believe this is possibly going to happen. Just pain. Just, just pain. Just pain. Oh, uh, fuck. But we'll see. We will see. But if the news does come out, breaking news, let me check my phone record to see if Fabrizio Romano tweeted or anything. Don't think so. Also, I think Madrid didn't make another bid for Mbappe. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, I think but I think Mbappe wants to go to Real Madrid. I, think, I don't think he wants to stay with PSG, play with Neymar and Messi. I don't understand why. But he wants to go to Madrid. Is I think his favorite club, whatever. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But I want you also want to talk about the draw results of each group. Start with Group A. We have Man City, PSG, Leipzig, and Club Bruges. Club Bruges, you might not, you might, you might as well just forfeit all the games. I don't, there's no shot for y'all making to knockout stages. I got Man City and PSG. Those two games could be really good, especially if Cristiano does go Man City. Oil against Oil, who's gonna win? Who's gonna have the, the better Oil team? Leipzig, a good team. I think they lost the manager. I think Konate left, and. Upa McConnell left as well, so we'll see how they go. I'm not really sure how, how good they've been doing this year, but shout out to, to American Jesse Marsh for managing Leipzig. So, but I got Man City and PSG advancing. I think that group is, is going to stay like that. You PSG up top or Man City up top. Group B, Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, Porto, Milan. Porto, I don't really see him. I think Porto did beat Juventus last year, and in, 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 like I say, just AC Mil Milan, Milan, whatever, with Ibra, Kessi. And all them boys. I don't really see him, man. I think it's going to be Atletico Madrid and Liverpool. Atletico Madrid, I think they lost to Chelsea in the knockout stages last year. But they did win La Liga. But I expect Atletico Madrid and Liverpool to advance. Especially the way Liverpool started the year. Very, very impressed. I expect that. Group C, Sporting, Dortmund, Ajax, Bazikis. This is really, uh, I, I, I would assume Dortmund advances. And I got Ajax. It's not really... I mean, that's really a toss-up. I'm not sure how good Bazikas is in Turkey. Sporting Lisbon. I think they won Liga Nost last year, the Portuguese League. Ajax, you know, Ajax also has a pretty solid team. And Dortmund, led by the man Erling Haaland, who I hopefully comes to Manchester United next year. Maybe. But we need a defensive midfielder. But I got Dortmund and Ajax coming out of that group. Group D. And to Milan. Real Madrid. Shakhtar. And Sheriff. I think I... Was it some cops? We got what the cops playing? The cops are playing. Uh, I got it to one and Real Madrid. Yeah, I think it's, it's gonna stay like that. Uh, Real Madrid, you know, led by Benzema. Into Milan, the Dillers who cock but then they signed Carrera for Lazio. They still got Otar Martinez, Adonovic, Perisic, all, all them guys. Not really too concerned about that group, but I do expect Real Madrid and Inter Milan to advance out the group. Group E. Bayern, Barcelona, Benfica, Damakia, Damakia. Like I said, Sydney is Club Bruges. You might as well not play your games. You forfeit the rest of the games and get ready for your season. Benfica, I mean, maybe Europa League, likely. I think, I mean, maybe Dynamo Kiev can probably, could possibly just get sent to the Europa League if they get no points. But Bayern, Barcelona, those teams are going to advance. Bayern, I think Bayern beats them like 12 to 0, which is absolutely crazy. Where's the mercy rule? And then Barcelona, the deal was messy. But. They still got some noble players there. Griezmann, I think, Mr. Pie, Aguero, uh, PK, Dresdagen. Still a, a solid, very good team. But I got Bayern Barcelona coming out of that. Group F. Villarreal, Man U, Atalanta, Young Boys. The Young Boys. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I think BSC Young Boys, I think, I think they do play in Switzerland. I think they won the Swiss League. Atalanta, very, very solid team in Italy. Manchester United, my team. And Villarreal, who they lost against in the, in the Europa League. I want to be Villarreal. Man, you should 
be top of this. They should be top. And then second place is going to be between Villarreal and Atlanta. We got to take care of our business. Beat the team supposed to beat. Beat Young Boys twice. Hopefully beat Villarreal twice. Atlanta split. But I don't want the same mistake as last year, which we had Paris, which we had PSG. All right, I just noticed that PSG and Leipzig are both in the same group like, again. As last year, that's that pretty cool. Just they, they just replaced Man City with us. I think Club Bruges had uh, some Turkish team. Anyway, but I do expect we need to come top of this table, led by Bruno Fernandez, by Pogba, you know, Rashford. Hope he comes back. Greenwood and all them guys. Uh, looking forward to it. Looking looking forward to that Group F. Group G, Lille, Sevilla, Salzburg, Wolfsburg. That looks like a Europa League table. Uh, that's really a toss-up. I can't really tell you. That's really a toss-up, I'll say. Any, except for probably Salzburg. But Lille, Sevilla, or Wolfsburg can all advance to knockout stages. I'm not really sure who has that. But if I had to choose, I'd probably choose, probably choose Sevilla. I think Wolfsburg. Probably choose those two to come out from Group G. Last but not least, Group H. Chelsea, Juventus, Zenit. And Malmo. I think Zenit is like that Russian team. And then Malmo. I'm not really sure where Malmo is. Uh, but we got Juventus with Christian probably possibly leaving. I think they brought back Allegri. And Chelsea are probably Premier League favorites this year. Chelsea are a very, very good team. Just signed Big Rom from Inter Milan for a hell of money. But I expect Chelsea and Juventus to both come out of that group. I'm um, looking forward to the Champions League, man. Looking forward to the Champions League. Good to see many, many you back in it. Hopefully they've been like our stages. Yeah, man, this is my overall thoughts on Cristiano. She's crazy. My thoughts on the Europe, uh, ooh, ooh, Champions League draw. You guys let me know you guys' thoughts and reactions to this, and I'll see you guys later.